Uh, what's going on guys? It's been just a minute since I've talked with y'all. Uh, so far we've got 18, 19 acres done and cooking on pretty good. I uh, just ate lunch and the only issue I'm having, which I had a funny story, when I was getting the combine ready I left the ladder down and tried to turn the auger on. And I spent like two hours trying to figure out why the auger would not turn on. Turns out the back ladder was down. Well, that sensor is giving me a whole lot of grief right now. About half the time is the uh, the sensor even working. So like if I have the auger on and I stop the combine, get out and smack the sensor, the auger will turn on. So I know that's the problem. Uh, now the question is, it's got three wires going into it, so I'm not exactly sure how to hot wire around it. If it has two wires, I know just to hook them together. So we've got to call out to our mechanic, and hopefully pretty soon he can get back to us so that stops harassing us because it'd be really nice just to go and press the button every time though the auger's going to turn on. But uh, I think our fuel consumption is a little bit lower today. We did eight so the other day. Uh, use 66 gallons on 27 acre, 26 acres, and now we're at you know 18 acres, and I think we're at about 30 gallons. So it's definitely better. It's not great, but it it is better. So this thing's just hungry. It has a lot of power, but it's hungry. out any doubt that it is that switch and then if the problem consists then we've either got a wiring issue somewhere the wire that's you know worn through or the solenoid is bad I'm gonna finish wiring this up then we'll try out the auger to see if it works and then we'll go from there don't worry guys I've already tested these so I know which ones need to go together so I'm not going to short anything out. Okay. Going to do that one. Get it straight. Put it in there. Going to loop the wire around. Hook it in. In case if you guys are wondering why I'm just not hooking the two wires directly together. The reason is because if we ever at want to add the ladder switch back in. All we have to do now is cut the wire right here and then we can add the switch back in. If I did that, it'd be too short and it'd be really hard to do. I'm just gonna heat shrink the connectors down. This ought to be fun on today. Because of the wind, messing with my heat.
Well, good morning, everybody. So this is like day four, I think. Day four, basically, of combining corn. It's been off to a little bit of a slow start. Uh, as you guys probably saw the other day, I was having a lot of problems with the unload auger. After redoing a whole bunch of wiring and all that, I ended up determining that it actually was the uh, a connection inside the cab underneath the relay and the auger just started working by pressing on the relay. That is now fixed and we've been running pretty good. Uh, there's still a few small things that I'm going to fix over the winter on the combine. The rotor grain loss monitor sensors are not functioning properly. The tailings elevator sensor, I'm not sure if it's working 100% good. Might need a new potentiometer for that. Also, I think it needs a new coolant uh, temp sensor. Other than that though, it's great. Got a lot of power. Sorry guys, my allergies are kind of throwing me for a loop here, but heading over to John's. I'm gonna get some wagons out, uh, work on some point rows where I don't need an unloader on the goer. It's just kind of funny living in a part of the country where there's, you know, all the different seasons very distinct. You know, in the summertime when the corn takes off, you think it's so pretty, but then you also think that, you know, just a rolling combine field, looks pretty you can see the ripe beans over there uh, those are not quite ripe yet we're gonna let them get rained on over the weekend dry down and then hopefully we can take them out beginning of next week anyways it's just very uh very interesting seeing all the different seasons and appreciating each and every single one of them Oh, Dad cleaned my window, yay. So then I'm gonna fire up my monitors once it's outside so they retain service while I'm taking wagons out. how fast an ag leader boots up. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty impressive. It just needs to get signal now from the trimble. All right, let's go put wagons out. Aha. I'll 
my cleaning fan set at 1250, so I don't really want to go any higher than that because it's already got so much pressure inside the combine and blowing uh, dust out the front. So I think we're looking better this morning. Well guys, we just finished up corn. Uh, you guys probably saw we were close to done. We didn't finish up all of our corn. We did 170 acres. Now uh, it is time to get the combine cleaned out and we're gonna switch over to beans. Uh, we have about 150, 160 more acres of corn, but we'll take care of that after we combine our beans. So we're gonna start getting the combine cleaned up. 